Okay, today I'm going to start running all the hose to the figure. Um, so this is a quick disconnect. I got all new O-rings for the quick disconnect. So uh, first thing I want to do is uh, take it apart, put all new O-rings in, and put it back together. Okay, these are what the quick disconnects look like in case you're wondering. One side's completely flat, and the other side has a little um, engrave in it to help hold the O-ring. And you see these are all dry rotted. So I want to put the new O-rings in and uh, I'm going to use a little uh, Parker O-ring lube to make them uh, a little sticky so they don't uh, fall out of place. Uh, this stuff is real thick though so you got to be careful it will actually clog up air lines. Um, you can cut it down with uh, hydraulic oil or cut it down with like air to air tool lubricant which I don't have but actually I think I might go out to Lowe's now and uh, pick up some air tool lubricant to cut it down because I don't want it to get uh, this stuff will, can get uh, gummed up in the airlines and block an airline okay so what I decided to do was to take Parker O-ring lube and just pneumatic tool lubricant and kind of mix it up and cut it down in here I put the O-rings in there got them coated and then I sat them on top of here. So I don't know if that's the right thing to do. That's what I decided to do. So. Okay, so I have the quick disconnects all back together. So my next stop is to uh, run all the hoses and the flow controls between the valves and the quick disconnects. Okay, so I have everything hosed up to the quick disconnects. Um, the color code I'm going to buy is all my... Uh, Red tubing is going to go to the head side of the actuator, and on all, all my blue tubing is going to go to the base side of the actuator. So I have it wired up based on whether I want the uh, base side of the actuator to be pressurized when there the valve is off, or if I want the head side of the actuator to be pressurized when the valve is off. It depends on the movement. Um, I put the figure two feet away from here to the base of the figure's two feet. Hopefully that won't bite me. It's not in the future, but that should be plenty of room for the valves to go under the floor. Um, and I'm going to try to put all the hoses through this loop here that I made on this cardboard, and then I'll part out to the quick disconnects. And I'm going to try to have a nice clean bundle going from this base, the right hand side of the base, through here. Um, I actually have some photos of this figure undressed, someone else's photos. Actually, I'll give a shout out to Till. He might be watching this. Uh, I have a photo of Till's uh, Duke, and uh, it appears that the airlines are going in the front of the figure, which kind of makes sense because there's less stuff it'll, be, it'll get caught on. So I'll have the bundle come up to the front of the figure here. Got to figure out how I'm going to do this neck. Probably try to go over this part right here. Come up right here and then do all the head from right here. So I'm going to put this on time lapse and uh, we'll see how long uh, it takes.
okay. And all the hoses are connected. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to air it up to see if I have any catastrophes uh, before I uh, tidy, uh, tidy up the hose. But I think I might take a little break first. I wanted to point out two things real quick. Uh, first off, the mouth actuators had eighth inch fittings on them, not quarter inch. So I went and I shoved eighth inch tubing up there and then I shoved quarter inch tube over it and zip tied it. I'll have to change that eventually. I also had the same problem down here. For some reason, valve 11, and I believe I'm wiring them up how they're supposed to be wired, well, hosed up as far as what valve does each function. And uh, valve 11 was supposed to have a quarter inch fitting, but it had a eighth inch fitting, so I just swapped it around with a spare. So, oh yeah, and another thing, in case you didn't notice, the smaller tubing, I had a real hard time fitting over the barb fittings. I had to heat up every single end and then shove it on there. That's what took the longest. If everything would have been this bigger tubing, I wouldn't have had a problem. They popped on it. They uh, slide on the bar fittings, no problem. So uh, I'm gonna go and uh, apply air to it and see what happens. I'm gonna apply air slowly because I don't have anything attached to the base. So if it moves around real violently, it'll fall over, which is something I don't want to happen. I just wanna air it up, make sure I don't have any major leaks. And then if everything's fine, I'll go and clean up all the hoses. Okay, I'll crank the air compressor regulator down to zero. And then I'll plug the fitting in. We'll go on this side. And then I'll slowly bring the regulator back up. Okay, so we have a major air leak. Thank you, it's coming out of that number two valve. Okay, so all that air, we have air coming out of the exhaust real heavily, but the biggest air leak is coming out of this number two valve, which is something I noticed after I rebuild the valves. So maybe I messed it up. I'm gonna open this valve back up. This valve's not being used. Uh, port B is being plugged up. When the valve's de-energized, port B should be, uh, you know, have uh, pressure in it, and there shouldn't be anything on too but this valve is messed up so I'll open it back up okay that cap seems like it's fine there's the plug Oh, I think I seen what I did. Oh no. Let 
me give it a try again. Okay, so I cleaned up all the hose. I think it came out pretty well. And uh, I figured out that there is going to be a lot of work that needs to be done to these valves. I'm draining out a lot of air through the exhaust. Uh, I switched these two spools around and the air still dumped out of number two. So I just plugged it up. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of air being dumped out of the exhaust, so I'm going to have a lot of work to do. And uh, at this point, I have everything set up so I can start building my controller, which I'm going to call uh, Pasquale's Oven. That's going to be the name of the controller, since people are naming, since that's a thing, to name the controller that you decide to build. But I'll uh, leave you with one last video. I'll air it up. And I'll just manually exercise the valves and uh, you can see uh, what he looks like. <laughs> 